Hey everyone, uh, this is our weekly announcement and this one's a biggie. Hey, we just got news and I'm sure you've seen the news to where uh, Gavin Newsom basically gave us some requirements if we wanted to have our meetings on campus. Now notice I didn't say we're reopening because I believe that we've been open since this whole time and I believe because Jesus has been worshipped in your homes, he's been, we were able to tune in and reach other people with the good news and the gospel. So this is just going to be marked down on your calendars. June 14th is when we're going to re- gather as a Christ Church on campus and so Mike's going to do some little bit explaining we're going to double team this announcement so literally we have a couple bullet points and we're going to do our best so here we go and you need to know that we're getting back together in two services and those services will be at 9 a.m. those of you who are in in the, the mode of 1030 even while you're at home 9 a.m. will be the first service and 1045 will be the second service and we have learned how to preach a little bit faster so uh, the services will last no longer than one hour and 15 minutes and then we'll have a half an hour in between services and, and uh, let those fil- filter in who are going to be coming to the second service. And just to let you know, we've got those guidelines. We're talking to law enforcement. We're making sure our community knows we're going to do our, our best and above to keep everybody safe and what we're belonging. So the first thing that we ask you to do since we're going to have two services is to make reservations. And I know, uh, trust me, it will be better than Olive Garden when they make reservations. <laughs> trust me, we just want to know where we can sit you and making sure your family there and closer together and we will be setting chairs uh, apart from one another taking out a couple rows here and there uh, just to make sure we have social dis- distancing and so it's going to be a little different and we're going to have also additional option for you outside if you would rather be out there and some of you with your kids because we're going to ask that your kids stay with you Um, Some of you will want to sit outside. We're going to have a large TV out there as well as all of the sound filtered out there during the service so you can participate, sit outside where it's nice. And before it gets hot in the month of June, I think it's going to be very nice out there. I think I'd rather sit out there. I don't know about you. Oh, I would too. Yeah. But but we're going to offer that outside. And we're going to ask everybody that if you are in a group and you see that they're just a little skittish, be considerate of others. Wear a mask if, if it's one of those things that you feel needs to happen. We're not going to mandate you walk in the building with a mask. In fact, that's not part of what is um, being offered in the guidelines. But we do want to make sure that we are respectful of other people. Yep. And next one we got is that there's going to be a plenty of hand sanitizer around. Uh, so we are, again, making sure that everyone's safe and our ushers are going to be ushering you to your seats. Again, make reservations so we know where you're coming. But if you don't make reservations, it's all right. We'll find a place for you. Um, And in the first couple of weeks, this is what we ask, that you're going to be basically a family church. Um, We're not going to have a children's program going out them. And so the children are going to be staying in present. It's going to be family friendly. Trust me. It's going to be awesome. We're probably going to have little activities for them while we're talking because we know they can zone out. And they're like, okay, we really only listen to Rachel because she's a better teacher than the rest of us. But, so again, understand it's going to be family friendly, bring your kids, uh, and it will be shorter. So there. And each week we are going to be taking offering, and when the first Sunday of the month comes along, we will be doing communion. The offering will be dropped in in boxes as you you leave um, or as you come in so that we don't have to worry about things passing down the aisles. And then as far as communion, there will be individual little serving cups that will have both the, the little wafer as well as the juice in it, and we will have those for the first Sunday in Uh, in July when we all get together and take uh, communion together. Yep, and then uh, just so you know, we are only going to be doing our services on June, and so there won't be any Sunday school, there won't be any uh, Bible studies, um, but there will be youth activities. And the restrooms will be sanitized between services, and we honestly ask you to be one at a time, so ladies don't go in a group, and Matt and his worship team, they can't go in a group anymore either, so just one at a time while they come out and do that. And we will deep clean in between services in the restrooms, but also after the service, after each Sunday, we're going to make sure that the place gets sanitized so you don't have to worry about next week coming back in to what was left from the week before. In addition to that, we're going to have thermometers, but we're not going to take your temperature as you walk in. The thermometers are going to be those kind where you don't actually have to touch anybody. They're going to be in the back, and if you feel like, well, maybe I have a fever, maybe I don't, you can take your own, and they're going to be available for you to do that. When we start having kids in, again, we're going to start taking kids' temperatures before they go into a children's area. 
Yep. And then uh, we also will be serving donuts. What that means is we are not going to be having those donuts like we had last time where they were just out on the table and anyone can pick them up. We'll be serving them to you. So be mindful of that. We'll have those outside. So again, that's also an incentive to enjoy the weather and listen to God uh, having a worship service. And the last one that we'll talk about is this, is we're going to actually have a trial run service on June 7th. And that is we're just kind of inviting people on a trial run. When we say trial run, we're going to limit the people to watch this kind of almost train wreck happen because we know <laughs> we haven't been back and we're, this is all new. It's new for you. It's new for us. And so we just kind of want to get the kinks out before uh, June 14th. And Sunday services are still going to be recorded and we will post them. Now, when we start recording our live service, it won't be, um, it won't be shown live. It won't be streamed, but it will be available a little bit later in the day on each Sunday. So we'll make sure that those who have to stay at home, those who are too, who are too afraid to come out still because of the virus and they, they're high risk, we'll make sure that you still get your worship service every Sunday. Yes, and so, and that's one of the, the best things about it is we've known so many people that, that they were just either by the work schedule or unavailable, couldn't make it, but they were able to tune in, and so we see the value of that, and so we're going to continue to make that for you guys, and, and just let you know it's going to be available on there for the month of June, and then we are just praying for our first celebration, uh, time without masks. and I, I want to eat together with people. I right, mean, I, right. What's that going to look like? I don't know, but we, we want to get together and eat, not yeah. necessarily off each other's plate, but we do want to eat together <laughs> that's right that's right you it's can't a, lick my ice cream cone oh no, no 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 no, no. I, I i agree with that <laughs> but but we look forward to it so keep your ears posted we're going to be letting you know as things uh, evolve exactly what's going to happen on each week and when we're going to be able to get together so pray with us for what that looks like and for when we're going to get together on the 14th remember it's the 14th at 9 and 10 45 god bless your week amen What's up, everyone? Man, what an exciting announcement uh, we just had from Pastor John and Pastor Mike uh, about everything that's uh, going to be uh, coming back again. I know we never really closed down, uh, but man, I'm excited for us to start up again. And uh, man, we're going to be starting youth up again uh, as well next Wednesday night. I am super stoked. We're going to have a great time the first Wednesday in June. Uh, we're actually going to have an outdoor service, which I'm really excited about. Uh, and it's going to be a BYOC, Bring Your Own Chair. Uh, we're also going to have a water balloon toss. Uh, we'll have cool prizes for the winners. Um, so if you're going to be here, come dressed uh, to potentially get a little wet, um, you know, because I don't want you wearing your Wednesday best, uh, you know, like your Sunday best and uh, getting them all wet and messed up. But it's going to be awesome. Uh, we're going to have a message. We're going to have worship outside together. And uh, don't worry, we'll still be practicing uh, social distancing uh, measures and all that stuff. We'll have hand sanitizer here and, and available on us stuff if you want to uh, make sure you stay clean if you want to wear a mask you're more than welcome to uh, that is completely within uh, your, your right to do so and uh, I'm just really excited uh, to see all of your faces in, in person again I know I get to see you guys uh, every Wednesday night on zoom but I've been praying for this day and uh, praise God that it is here so next Wednesday night 6 30 uh, a small dinner will be provided um, so be ready to eat some pizza because that's we just do pizza really well you know, so what, what can I say? Um, but uh, we're really excited to be with you. So thank you guys for tuning in and uh, we'll see you real soon. Thanks, guys.